This is just going to be a tutorial on Cubeworld setting up multiplayer servers. Uh, first of all, we've got the online server, and to set this one up, you need to the host needs to have their port one two three four five forwarded. So you want to go and download this software, Simple Port Forwarding. It is probably the easiest way to do it. You put in whatever router you've got, which you can tell from the bottom of your router, which should have the model number and such. You search for it, it'll give you the router IP automatically. You go down here, you put in a new app. So you want to go add new. Program database, you want to add custom, and you want to put in cube world. And you want to have the start and end ports as 12345, 12345, and that will add. <coughs> You then want to update your router, provided that you've actually selected the correct router. It will go through the process of actually inputting the ports manually by itself. Then you want to test that the ports actually work. Just note that this is for online only, you do not need to do this for LAN and only the host of the server needs to do this. And success, okay, so we're all fine here. So we can close out of this one and we can open up the Cubeworld server. Um, you generally wanna run it as administrator because there's some networking issues with the program at the moment. So when it's waiting for connection, we've got it all connected up. We wanna open up Cubeworld. And from here we want to go into Google and type in what's my IP address and we've got it just here. You can't copy and paste it so you do actually have to put it manually in. This is the IP that you, you connect to as well as your friends. So just again, we select our character, we go connect the server, it doesn't really matter whether it's on multiplayer or single worlds. We put in the server address, connect. And there we go, we're connected. If it freezes up or it's not responding, the server's not working, your ports probably aren't forwarded, or you're behind a firewall. Generally, with Minecraft, Terraria, and Cubeworld, you want to have your firewall off for this sort of thing, because there's already enough complications as it is, because the server configurations are poor anyway. And as you can see, the server's working. Very low view distance because I'm recording with Fraps at the moment. But that's the easiest way to connect with um, the online server. We just open this one up, we can see the player zero joined, it starts from zero, same with programming, always starts from zero instead of one. And then, yeah, we're connected. I thought I'd start the LAN tutorial from the start just in case people want to jump between the two of them. Um, for LAN, it's even simpler than the online. All you've got to do is open up server. What you want to do is you want to go to your start menu. You want to type in CMD as in command. Click on that one. Here, you just want to type in IP config. This is so people can actually connect on your LAN, so your local area network, as in in your house or university, etc. So you want to go down here, you may have more or less devices than I do. You want to go down here and look for the Ethernet adapter local area connection. And you want to look for the IPv4 address. So it's 10.0.0.11. You don't actually have to have keyboard open for people to connect to it. And you also don't have to be in the game for other people to connect to it. So we open up keyboard, uh, keyboard. Start game. Select your character. Multiplayer worlds, and then from my knowledge, I believe it connects instantly to this one, and I think that is due to this server configuration file. If you can see that the the seeds match this one and that one, but I'm not too sure how that is changed at this point in time. So anyway, it's going to connect to this one at the moment. So if we just connect the server anyway, we want to copy this. So we've got 10.0.0.11, connect. And as you can see on the server XE, player zero has joined. For argument's sake, 
that this actually does work, we're going to go to the start menu. I'm going to quit the server. And I'm going to try and reconnect just to prove that the LAN does work. I have tried on another one of my computers. I want to go start game, select, connect to the server. And this shouldn't work. And as you can see, could not connect to server. It doesn't really matter which order you start the server up in. As soon as we start it up, we can connect. See? Great. That's all of it for today, guys. Uh, please like and subscribe to this video. And I hope you'll come. Please leave any questions.